hello guys welcome once again and in this video I am going to show you how can you you know make your time uh, running time of your system show on your C sharp application and uh, for that purpose you need to go to your toolbox and you need to search here for a timer and uh, that there it is yes select this and drag it here so when you will drag it you won't be able to you know actually drag it on your form because it will not you know be dragged to this form so it what it will do it will always make a place down here somewhere and uh, you don't need to worry about it because we will show our time right here so what I need now I need a label so I will search for label and drag it here so what I am going to do I will just connect my label to this timer so what will happen wherever my label will lie the time will show up there okay so first of all I need to you know change my label whatever you can say this uh, label is basically label 5 and let's say I give it a time and if you go to the name uh, because I need a name for the you know code so label 5 so I will leave it as it is the name is label 5 and I am going to use that label 5 in my code so now what I need to do I will just go to my timer and uh, you need to click here once and then you need to double click on the timer one and you will be redirected to this the event of that timer and inside the event of the timer you will write date time exactly date time and then you need to define a variable like I have defined t uh, and taken t as a variable of date time and I need to put that equal to date time dot now whatever my systems time will be uh, it will be uh, taken by this variable and uh, then what I will do I will just assign this variable t to my label label 5 actually that was that I need to you know show you can see that label if I come here and uh, see the name of my this label and that is basically label 5 okay so hope you have got the concept and there is no confusion in that so this dot label 5 and if you remember to you know we use dot text for you know text boxes and label labels and uh, as my oh that uh, my time will be displayed in text so I need to write here label 5 dot text and now I need to assign this T to this label dot text but I need to do one more thing that this time and this label is a bit different because this label dot text will already need a string but uh, if you see the time the time will be in numbers or something so I need to convert that variable to string for that purpose what I will do I will just type here dot to string exactly this and parenthesis here yes and there you go you can see the error has gone and now one more thing that I need to do and that is just select this timer and you will see that timer name is timer 1 so I just need to copy that and uh, if you see to the other properties and that is basically the interval of the time and that means that the clock will take after 100 milliseconds uh, our usual clock is uh, I guess 1000 milliseconds so you don't need to worry because it is faster than enough so timer 1 the name is copied so I will go to my code and I need to go to the main class here 
and that is initialize component function wherever it is called it is your main class so every code will be executed via main class so you have to know that so in here I will copy paste the name of my timer dot I need to start my timer parenthesis and now my timer will get started in the main function so I am pretty much done here I have connected my timer with this label and uh, there you can see this label file have been connected to my this timer time and uh, I have written my label inside the event of this timer okay so now the time has come to run our program so I will run this and it is taking a bit longer to run as I have I am running this program for the first time uh, after you know opening the visual studio so we have to wait until it runs so I need to write here my credentials and login then after login it will tell me that login successful I'll press OK and you can see here that system time has been appeared right here okay so let's do one more thing let's say I want to show my time right here so I will just drag my label right here and now the time will be displayed right here if I you know enter my credentials and press login it will tell me login successful you can see the time has appeared here so hope you have learned something new and uh, thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and bye for now